Victor Vasarelli was an op art painter from Hungary. Op art is short for optical art. Artists use shapes, colors, and patterns in certain ways to create images as if they were moving or blurry. Today, I will show you how to make a paper weaving using colors and lines to create optical illusions. We're gonna create our optical illusion paper weaving using paper, scissors, and glue. If you have colored construction paper, I would like you to choose two complementary colors. Complementary colors are, when they're placed next to each other, will look their very brightest. So you're going to be using the colors across from each other on the color wheel. Blue and orange, green and red, and yellow and purple. So if you have color construction paper and you have these complementary colors, why don't you give it a try with that? If you don't, a white piece of paper and a black piece of paper would be great. Let's get started. What we're going to do is think about our loom. This is what we're going to weave on. I'm going to do mine in white and black, but if you're choosing color construction paper, this one, the loom was done in purple, so we're doing this section here. And then these are the wefts, the strips. So, take your paper, place it vertically, and I want you to take the bottom, bring it up to the top so the corners meet, and give it a fold, a nice good crease. Now, here's the fold near my belly, and here is the opening. I want you to take the top of the opening and just bend it back a little bit. And give it a fold. So here's the opening. Here's the bottom where the fold is. Now this line here, you don't have to make it dark, but I'm going to just draw a line just so you remember this fold means stop. All right, you don't have to write that. You can leave yours plain, but know when we go to do our lines here, you're stopping at that fold line at the top. So let's think about what kind of design we want with our loom. Uh, here is my fold. You could go ahead and do diagonal lines. You'd start at that fold and go all the way down to your folded edge. See if you can get one more in there. Make sure you don't go to the corner. That would be a problem. So you still want a little bit of space in there. Or you could do wavy line from the fold down to the fold. I should call that your stop line. Make sure you leave space. You don't want your line going to any of your corners. You want to have some space in there. Or you could do curved lines from the center and going the other way. So think about which design you want to do. Go back to your um, loom. I think on this one I'm going to try those curved lines. So I'm starting at the center on my stop line, curve line till I get to the bottom. This one I'm going to curve the other way. You don't want your lines too close together or else you'll have a hard time weaving and your paper strips might rip. But make sure you leave a little space here. So I had uh, one, two, three. Try to get three on this side. Okay, now we're gonna get our scissors and cut. Remember we stop at that little folded strip here. I'm cutting both pieces together.
once we open this up, we will have our loom here. And I like to have this, any sort of writing on the back. You're gonna go grab your other piece of paper. You had color. This would be, like my purple one was the loom. Here are the yellow strips. So my other piece would be the yellow. But I'm doing black, so here's my black. Now, I want you, I was doing my zigzag lines. When I cut, I just wanna make sure I keep these in the same order, and that's how I'll weave them. To the weaving so if I was doing these zigzag strips you have them in your order because they're gonna have to kind of fit together on your loom I'm gonna start with this one I have my loom down here we're gonna do just a basic a B pattern that means over then under over under over under so I start over this first strip now I got to go under then over then under, then over, take it to the top, and then make sure you get it all the way to the edge. Now I would take the next color. Because I started over here, this one we're gonna start underneath. So under, over, under, over, under, over, pull it up to the top, and then scooch it down so it lines up with your first strip. Next one, so I started over, under, so this strip is going to start over. And we continue the process over, under, over, under, and press it down. Over, under, over, this one starts under now this strip is not actually going to fit so i'm going to leave that let's see what the black and white one looks like lay this down to the side here are my black strips i definitely have more more parts of my loom to go over i'm going to get my weft with just this piece of paper and i'm going to start over under over under over under double check your work make sure you don't miss any slide it all the way down next color for next strip or should we call this a weft and here is our loom that i'm weaving the weft through And this would be interesting as well as if you had different um, widths of your weft, had some thinner, some thicker. You could even glue different colors of paper onto your weft, like some stripes. You can see we're starting to get our optical illusion happening. I'm looking to see how much space I have left. I know I have a thinner strip here and a thicker, so I could probably sneak one more in. Mm, now 
I have self doubts because this is a little bit shorter there. Let's see. Doesn't look like it's gonna fit. If I want it to fit, I can definitely cut it thinner. But maybe I can scooch these down a little bit more. not gonna fit so make this a little bit smaller flat strip is definitely a little trickier So we have a bunch of different looks with our looms and our weavings. Your last step is to get a glue stick and just tack your ends in place so they don't come undone. On the front side, and the back. Today we learned about optical illusion art and how it plays with um, illusion. We learned about a loom and our weft and the weaving process.